What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. This video I want to show you how to draw a Lewis structure for POCL3, which is called phosphoryl chloride, and the P is the central element in this example. So let's find out the total valence electrons first. For phosphorus we have 5, oxygen is 6, and chlorine is 7, and we have 3 of them, so 3 times 7, that makes it 11 plus 21, which makes it 32 valence electrons. Then, what I can do, I can write P, C, L, 3 on the sides, and then connect them to make it as skeletal structure, so whenever we draw the elements here and we connect them with just single bond we call it skeletal structure then i find out the remaining number of electrons we have 32 minus 4 bonds 4 bonds times 2 8 so that means we need 24 more electrons so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and here we have 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and we have 1 for 1 extra for phosphorus. So then we figure out the octet rule is valid for all this chlorine because we have 2, 4, 6, 8. But here for phosphorus, we don't have such a thing, and also for oxygen. Then we can see here, we can have a double bond between these two. So we can write it like that. So we have two lone pairs in here. And all these lone pairs. So the octet rule is valid for chlorine and also for oxygen because we have 2, 4, 6, and 8. But here for phosphorus, as you see here, we have 10 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bonds times 2, 10. So sometimes there are some special cases that we have that these central atoms, they don't obey the octet rule. Sometimes they are underfilled, sometimes they are overfilled. So in this case, phosphorus is 10. 10 electrons, so that's called overfilled. There is also another Lewis structure for this POCL3, which is not as accurate as this one, but it's sometimes common, so it's, you can write it like that. Four six two four six two four six these to connect here and then we have single bond with P and O. This case satisfying octet rule for all elements and we have double bond only for the single bond is for phosphorus as you see here we have six electrons for oxygen with this bond it's going to make it eight octet rule uh, for phosphorus we have four bonds times two is going to be eight so octet rule is valid for all of them in this case but as i said these are the resonant structure of this chemical this compound pocl3 but most of the time you see this loose structure for this compound so i hope you enjoyed this video please leave your comment if you have any question and i get back to you as soon as possible and please don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you